And the Dubrinic Channel is back, and today we are talking about the Colorado River. We are doing the end of the year Colorado River report right now, and we are getting right to it. As we scoot in here to windy.com, you can see plenty of snow possibly coming over the next 10 days to Arizona, Nevada, Utah, New Mexico, and Colorado, which all are part of the watershed for the Colorado River. We even have a little bit of precipitation all the way up into Wyoming as well well as you get a little bit there in the green river coming in possibly 4.9 we scoot in down here to telluride down here and you can see at telluride we have 7.8 over here by lake navajo we have 9.5 and then down by farmington you have 4.7 it's good because we haven't had much of a snowpack this year so far we could see over here 11.9 we come down here by page 4.7 we go to sapa 7.5 and down here in between lake powell and in Lake Mead, you have 9.6. Over here in St. George, you have 10.2. Look up here. You have 18.31. So this is fantastic news. We come down here, further down. Even Las Vegas could possibly get 1.6 over the next 10 days. Kingman, 4.9. Prescott just flows way below Lake Havasu, but this is 10.9. Flagstaff up here, which flows to Lake Mead, 12.8. And that's what we got going on. We go over to the European model to see if it's as aggressive. Not quite so much. Flagstaff 5.1 tell you right 11.9 you can see that they're calling for more precipitation throughout in a good swath of precipitation over in California. I'll be back on the 1st to talk about Lake Oroville so check that out tomorrow and we are off to the graphs. I hope everybody's ready for the nice new year. Hopefully it's much better than last year. Last year was a rough one for myself. I don't know about everybody else. I am back. I'm hoping to be back more frequent and often. Here we go we are at flaming gorge 6027.61 feet is today's water level sunday december 31st 2023 at 10 a.m the level is 19.39 feet below full pool of 6047 you can see that flaming gorge is down 0.12 feet over the last 24 hours we go to the last seven days in the lake is down 0.48 we go to the last 14 days in the lake is down 0.76 feet we go to the last 30 days and you can see that the lake is down 1.38 feet and then over the last year the lake is up 18.9 feet from one year ago today and then we go to your inflows and your current inflows are actually negative 105 i've seen this before this is not the first time and the outflows are currently 2127 so that would explain why the lake's falling nothing's coming in everything's going out of course the lake's gonna fall that's the way it goes and your full pool level is 6040 in 2021 the level 6,017.71 feet last year we were sitting at 6,008.63 feet of course today we're at 6,027.61 feet inactive pools 5,871 record high was 6,043.80 feet record low was 5,966.98 feet and your dead pools 5,740 we continue to roll to percentage of capacity and your percentage of capacity Capacity is currently 83.82% down to Lake Navajo we go next as we roll out to Lake Navajo you can see that the current water level 643.59 feet and that was Sunday December 31st 2023 at 10 a.m. the level is 41.41 feet below full pool of 6085 changes since yesterday the lake is down 0.03 in the last 24 hours the lake is down 0.26 feet in the last seven days the lake is down 0.43 feet over the last 14 days the lake is down 0.94 feet over the last 30 days and the lake is up 24.94 feet over the last year inflows are currently 167 your outflows are 324 and we go to the graph here over the last three years this will be the last time you see 2021 on these graphs 6085 is your full pool level 6020 or the last day of 2000 6,018.46 the last day of last year and of course this year we're at 6,043.59 like I talked about dead pool is 5,775 record high 6,087.25 record low 5,891.83 feet we go to percentage of capacity in your current percentage of capacity 64.80% as we roll out to Blue Mesa you can see that the current water level is 7,000 
137. And that was Sunday, December 31st, 2023 at 10 a.m. The level is 28.63 feet below full pool of 7,519. Changes since yesterday. The lake is down 0.12 feet over the last 24 hours. The lake is also down 0.81 feet over the last seven days. Over the last 14 days, the lake is down 1.24 feet. And over the last 30 days, the lake is down 1.48 feet. However, the lake is up 43.88% over the last year. And then we go to your inflows and your outflows. Your current inflows are 402 and your current outflows are 794. And we go look at the graph for the last year. Like I said earlier, 2021 will be gone next time you see an update in about a week or so. 7,015.19 feet. In 2021, the level was 7,434.39. So that will be the last time you see that on this graph. 2022 will be over here. 2023 will be over here. And 2024 will be placed here starting next year. 7,446.49 feet. 7,490.37 as said earlier. Your record high was 7,519.64 feet. So it was 0.64 feet above full pool. Your record low was below dead pool of 7,303.90 feet and dead pool 7,358 feet. So we're quite a long ways from that today. So that's good news. And we continue to roll out two percentage of capacity in your current we're in the blue so that's good news at 69.99 percent anything above 66.67 percent is blue so we are in good shape still down to lake powell we go next as we roll out to lake powell you can see that the current water level is 3,569.05 feet and that was on sunday december 31st 2023 at 10 a.m the level is 130.95 feet below full pool of 3,700 changes in chest Yesterday, the lake is down 0.08 feet over the last 24 hours. Over the last seven days, the lake is down 0.53 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is down 1.04 feet in the last 14. Over the last 30 days, the lake is down 2.38 feet. Over the last year, the lake is up 44.32 feet from one year ago today. Inflows are currently 5,699 and your outflows are currently 8,666. The sign of the devil. 666 and we go out to your graph you can see that full pool is 3700 in 2021 the level was 3573.46 feet last year we were looking at 3524.73 feet and of course today we're at 3569.05 feet inactive pool is 3490 dead pool is 3370 your record all-time high is 3708 your record low is 3490.7 Seven six feet. Now over to percentage of capacity and your current percentage of capacity is 34.73. We are not in the red. That's good. We are at the yellow. Anything above 33.34% is yellow. Anything below 33.33% is red. So there you have it. We are down to Lake Mead next. Lake Mead's current water level is 1,067.98 feet and that was Sunday, December 31st, 2023 at 9 a.m. The level is 151. 0.62 feet below full pool of 1219.60 feet changes since yesterday the lake is up 0.09 over the last 24 hours the lake is up 0.58 over the last seven days the lake is also up 1.39 feet over the last 14 days and lake mead is also up 3.17 feet over the last 30 days over the last 365 days the lake is up 23.22 feet inflows are currently 11 1,498. Your outflows are currently 6,140. And we go out to the graph. Full pools 1,219.60 feet. In 2021, the level was 1,066.19 feet. 2022, the worst year of all, 1,044.76 feet. Last year, we were up to 1,067.98 feet. And active pool 950. Dead pool 895. Record low was 1,040.58 feet. Set in 2022 record high 1225.85 feet set in 1983 and we go to your percentage of capacity and we're in the yellow here as well that's good news last year we were in the red big time and we are currently at 34.93 percent down to lake mojave next 
As we roll out to Lake Mojave, you can see that the current water level is 639.99 feet, and that was Sunday, December 31st, 2023 at 11 a.m. The level is 7.01 feet below full pool of 647. Changes since yesterday, the lake is up 0.02 feet over the last 24 hours. The lake is also up 0.85 feet over the last 7 days. The lake is also up 0.82 feet over the last 14 days. The lake is also up 0.17 over the last 30 and over the last year the lake is up 0.1 feet and we go out to your inflows and your inflows are currently 7,216 your outflows are currently 4,584 and we go out to the graph next you can see that the high water level 647 that's the full pool 638.14 is 2021 639.89 feet is 2022 2023 639.99 feet Deadpool 533.00 feet Deadpool 533 feet record high was 646.95 this thing has never been completely full and record low was 593.58 Percentage of capacity is currently in the blue, which is 89.36% of full. And down to my favorite stop of them all. I hope everybody's doing well. Lake Havasu. That is my next stop. So here we go. And now we roll out to Lake Havasu. And you can see that the current water level is 447.63 feet. And that was Sunday, December 31st, 2023, 10 a.m. The level is 2.37 feet below full pool of 450. Changes since yesterday the lake is up 0.12 feet over the last 24 hours over the last seven days the lake is down 0.7 over the last 14 days the lake is up 0.83 feet over the last 30 days the lake is down 0.88 feet over the last year the lake is up 0.61 feet we go to your inflows your inflows are currently 4634 your outflows are currently 2506 and we go to the graph, and this will be the last time for 2021 for all of these. And 450 is your full pool, 447.55, 2021. 2022, the level was 447.02 feet. 2022, the level was 447.63 feet. Deadpool's 400. Record high was 451.0 zero feet so one foot over probably 1983 i'm guessing 440.04 was your record low just barely above inactive pool so we just barely skated by on that that one there and down to percentage of capacity for the final thing of the year and here we go it's in the blue as it generally is down that way and percentage of capacity is 92.51 percent thank you guys for stopping by i hope everybody's having a wonderful day and prepared for new year's eve i hope we can say goodbye Goodbye to that awful 2023 and have a really good 2024 would be fantastic. I hope everybody is safe and God bless you all. We will see you on the next one. We will see you next year.